Hey everybody, Jeremy Asher here with Wisconsin Kenworth. Uh, today we're going to be speaking with Dan Anderson from CSM Financial to go over some uh, exciting news that we have here on a $10,000 down program opportunity for first time buyers and also for uh, fleets that typically buy new as a way to uh, help save them money on uh, their purchases. So Dan, why don't you start us off and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, CSM Financial. Uh, um. Uh, CSM Financial, obviously, we're we're uh, owned by CSM companies. The uh, financial portion has been operating since since 2011. Um, we are able to provide direct lending um, with our own in-house financing or um, through our lending partners that we have out there. Um, and we've had successful play placements for you know full range of credit profiles, um, you know experience in different experience levels for different customers. Um, the financing options that we're able to provide are conventional loans, um, fair market value and track leases, um, monthly pay monthly, weekly or seasonal payments. Uh, we have our own customer portal where you can check on, you know, status of your of your loan with us and, you know, get your interest paid information and things off that. Um, we offer ACH payments uh, to make it easy for you to to take care of things. And uh, we even have some lenders that help us with Islamic loans. So. Um, OK, that all sounds great. Uh, you know, my experience with buyers is typically that uh, someone's going to fall into one of these categories here that we have for conventional FMV or track leases are very popular for uh, new truck buyers, especially uh, a lot of dump truck customers uh, like to do track leases. Uh, Islamic financing is definitely becoming more popular with the Islamic community that we service also. Uh, we do have a couple good partners in that that we've worked with over the years. So definitely a little different process but uh, we can definitely make that happen so one thing i'm curious about here dan is uh, down this graph right here so you know typically we think of you know you have to have a 750 credit score to be able to get a, a loan mm -hmm. on a truck but you know according to your graph that you have here you know we're going pretty low on being able to get some approvals done so let's talk about the bottom half here just a little bit. Um, if we're looking at somebody in the bottom half here, let's say 650 and below, 675 and below, what do you suppose that uh, the qualifications that you guys would be looking at would be on that? Um, I, I would say typically, I mean, more than likely those are gonna be your used truck buyers. And those are what you're, if it's a first time, Somebody who hasn't financed a truck before, you're typically looking at something with about 20% down. Um, you know, and I, and I think that's kind of where our um, our $10,000 down program kind of fits in there because it's a little bit a little bit better truck with a little bit lesser down. You're not hitting that 20% mark. Um, you know, the, and I, I think part of what we're trying to show there is that you know, we're not just picking the cream of the crop on the customers that we're looking at. We are able to get some of the, uh, you know, credits that are, you know, I would say bruised or uh, somebody's had some difficulty in the past. Um, we are able to find some lenders for those customers and and get them down. But you're you're looking at, I mean, obviously you're gonna be looking at some some higher rates and a little bit higher down payment when you're in that in that bucket. So. Okay, that makes sense. But you know, overall, we can still uh, service these customers. Um, yes. I just want to make that clear that uh, we don't have to have uh, perfect credit to be able to uh, get a truck loan and be able to get down the road and start making some money. So, correct. Okay. Correct. Let's uh, let's move on here to some some more information. Um, what what this is addressing is just. Uh, it, it, the graph shows basically the uh, changes in in motor carriers throughout throughout the years, and you can see where there's that big jump. You know that's kind of when uh, spot rates were really going up high, and you know kind of during the COVID period, um, you had a lot of new owner operators and fleets getting into the business, and 
um, taking advantage of that. Um, unfortunately, you can also see where it's in, you know, this year it's really dropped off significantly, probably the most that it's it's been for some time. Um, and that's made a, you know, it's just a sign of how difficult it is now with um, uh, freight rates dropping um, for somebody to make a living in this business. Um, and so that that kind of drives us again with the with the um, program where we can we try and structure it in a way that um, it makes your payments affordable. Um, there's the ease of making the payments and and we also set up a, a fund for you to save up for any kind of maintenance costs that may come up. Yeah, so really what uh, what we're driving towards here with this information is that uh, you know customers that are typically new truck buyers, uh, you know with freight rates going down, it's definitely going to be easier for them to be able to afford uh, a used truck versus a new truck payment with the way that uh, the market's kind of shifted a little bit here. Yeah, um, you're going to have a lesser down payment and um, so a cheaper out of pocket expense initially, um, and then also you're saving money. Um, you know, with a lower monthly payment or weekly payment at that point. Um, so this is kind of a layout of, of what that program, you know, comes to. We can do a down payment of $10,000. Um, you know, we'd set up, if you do weekly payments, you know, we can get down as low as $349 a week on it. Um, and terms can range anywhere from 36 to 54 months. Um, they structure it, you know, to get that payment with a balloon at the end of it of 15,000. Um, so basically at the end of the loan, at the end of the loan, after you've made your monthly payments, $15,000 is what your buyout would be. Correct. correct. So uh, just a quick question here on this. So with that $15,000 buyout at the end, let's say that uh, customer doesn't have the $15,000. Uh, would we refinance that $15,000 for a short term to be able to uh, just accept payments on that uh, $15,000 then? Yes, yes. I, I, okay. um, I think a typical typical thing is we look at just, you know, doing refinance for, like I said, short term and just kind of continue that, you know, payment schedule on until it's paid off. Okay, perfect. So, um, you know, and, and as far as the first time financer, you know, typically we're looking for, you know, two years on our, you know, over the road truck driving experience. Um, we, we, we can look at somebody with, that has no owner operator experience, but, you know, obviously have driving experience. Um, and so two, with year, this, two years is the minimum yeah, that yeah. we're looking for, for driving experience. That's CDL experience that we're looking for. Correct. Correct. Okay. Um, and um, what, like I said, we, we would set it up um, with an escrow account for maintenance. So it'd be $125 a week. Um, the money will go into a uh, basically a savings account that you do get paid interest on or it'll accumulate interest. And, um, you know, say if you have some something happen on the truck, um, sometime down the line and we have the funds available in the account. Um, we just need a copy of, um, you know, the estimate or repair estimate or, or the receipt and, you know, contact us and we'll ACH that money right back into your own checking account. So, so the customer doesn't have to wait around for warranty approvals or anything like that to be right. able to use this money. Uh, it's not that kind of program. It's take your truck in, do your maintenance, get it fixed. Uh, we'll either pay the invoice with for the servicing you know, location that you got to fix at, or we'll reimburse you for that money. Correct. Correct. Okay. Exactly and correct. you know, just to be clear, it is it is their money. So. Okay. Um, perfect. Yeah. So that sounds uh, that sounds like a uh, pretty good uh, program as far as um, being able to uh, set aside some money automatically to work on your truck. Now. This is set up somewhat like what the large fleet set up when they do their owner operators. Um, you know, when they do their you know lease to purchase programs with uh, 
their drivers also. So what do, what do you feel is the main difference between our program that we have to offer versus uh, if a customer is looking at going with a uh, lease to purchase with through their fleet that they're driving with? I, I think the the biggest thing that, that really sets us apart is um, that that we re, we report this to um, Paynet. Paynet's uh, essentially it's a um, a service that is like a credit bureau for um, uh, commercial loan payments. So we are going to report to there, and you're ba- you're building up um, pay history on commercial loans on there. You know, showing some ancillary pay history, and then that in turn will help you uh, when you're buying your next truck to you know get better terms on on that deal, better rates, better payments. Um, you know, and and looking at, um, you know, just a better overall deal. Um, when you're looking at like a lease to own through a fleet company, um, they don't report to anybody. Um, I've had many instances of customers that they've come to us and are looking um, to to buy a used truck or a new truck, and they've got a truck that they have gone through one of those programs. Um, but we as a lender and other lenders have to treat them as essentially a first time buyer again, because we can't really see any kind of pay history with that. It's hard to get a credit reference uh, from the lender and, you know, a lot of or from the from the fleet, I'm sorry. Um, and a lot of lenders really don't look at that as like as true commercial credit, whereas through us so you know, like i said we report to paint it it'll show on there as an actual commercial loan that is getting paid and you're building up that history so it's a really good uh you know a, a good building block for you down the line and i totally agree i've ran into that numerous times where you know guys are proud that they paid off uh you know a couple trucks i had one guy said he paid off three trucks they never reported to credit bureau the, yep. Yep. as uh, his fleet. So it was when we uh, were able to help him, it was a first time purchase. So that is uh, probably one of the biggest things that I see also between um, other programs and our program is that, uh, you know, we'll be re- reporting this obviously to the um, credit bureaus to be able to help them on their next purchases to be able to you know maybe get a little better rate on the next one. Um, the down payment's pretty darn low on this one. I don't know if we can get lower than this, but you know, it it always helps. Uh, the the more uh, history you show, the better rate and uh, the typically the better down payment also. So right. very cool. Um, and again, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll be looking at uh, you know scores under uh, that 650 for the program also. And you know, there's a combination of things that would need to come into play, but uh, we'll definitely give them consideration. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Okay, one other uh, exciting thing here, uh, and also here, um, if uh, you are typically a new truck buyer and you decide that you want to take a look at uh, you know this used truck program that we have, you know, should be able to increase your cash flow by uh, um, a little over fifteen hundred dollars a month. Yeah, I mean, essentially, you're looking at well, we'll in our model, we looked at a little bit of higher maintenance expense because the uh, it's a used truck versus new you know they have probably not any warranty on it um or not much warranty left on it and so you're going to have increased maintenance cost but you've got less money out of pocket to go into it and your payments are going to be much lower than what you're looking at on a new truck perfect and then uh one other thing that here to go over is uh for that escrow budget that we have set up um, let's say that uh, you, your truck paid off and you've got some money sitting in your escrow budget. It sounds like uh, CSM Financial will uh, um, match those funds if you choose to purchase another truck from us and put that money as a down payment. So, that's, a, you know, that's exactly correct. Um, if there's money left over in the escrow account, um, like, like you said, customer wants to buy a truck with through CSM and we finance it again, we'll we'll match whatever funds are in that escrow account up to $1,500. Perfect, free money, everybody likes it, Exactly, exactly. Awesome. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, same here. 
Um, so yeah, so uh, one other thing that we've got going on here that actually ties into this program is uh, our fleet of 2020 Kenworth T680s that we have. Uh, these are all from the same customer. They just uh, run three different colors. They've got uh, uh, dark blue, white, and light blue in colors. Um, all Cummins engines, all automatic 12-speed transmissions, all have Thermal King APUs, uh, very nice spec truck, great owner-operator spec. They're spec for fuel economy, uh, keep even more money in your pocket. Um, again, this is uh, where we have this 349, uh, this program starting at 349. Obviously, it depends on the uh, spec of the truck uh, as far as the mileage, uh, the mileage goes. Price is always based on mileage. So the higher mileage trucks, um, the payment will be a little lower, the lower mileage trucks, the payment will be a little bit higher. But uh, yeah, this is a, definitely a great opportunity to take advantage of, um, you know, the market right now. Truck prices have came down. Uh, we can get you into uh, one of these at a pretty low down payment and monthly payment. So definitely uh, if you guys are in the market and looking for a quality used truck and a good lending partner with CSM Financial, definitely reach out to you know Wisconsin Kenworth, uh, to myself, Jeremy Asher, and uh, we'll get you taken care of. Uh, definitely, definitely. So one of the things that I forgot to go over in the uh, previous video was how to um, fill out the credit application. So pretty simple. Go to csmtruck.com. Start from the beginning here. csmtruck.com. And then we're going to go over to financing. Click on financing and click on credit application. So nice, simple, easy online credit application. Uh, a couple key things here at the bottom of page one what i'm going to need you to do here is under csm dealership i'm going to need you to pick out uh wisconsin kenworth wausau and then csm sales representative i need you to go over here and add myself jeremy asher there and then uh, continue to fill out the application uh, you can save the application and come back to it so you just want to make sure that you copy uh, you copy your link and then there uh, you can email yourself the link also and then from there you can uh, go back and you can continue to edit that um, but yeah you don't have to do it all at one sitting you can save it um, it will not let you go on to the next page until you have everything filled out completed on that page but key things here add Wisconsin Kenneth Wausau as a dealership and Jeremy Asher as the representative Appreciate your time. Have a great day.